Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're back again with another LEGO City build. This is the LEGO City Firestarter set, set number 60106. Only 90 pieces, pretty small set, they even call it out as a starter set. So what this set basically is, is it's kind of a, a minifigure pack. You get four minifigures, you get a little fireboat and, and something on fire, something to basically to use the fireboat on. Um, and being a starter set, what that basically means is it um, allows you to start off small with a particular sub-theme of LEGO City um, and potentially, you know, see if you like it or not. Because sometimes, uh, you know, you've got like the deep sea, you've got police, you've got fire, you've got all these different sub-themes of of Lego City. So, if you're not sure if you want to buy the fire stuff, you know, you can minimally invest in a small set like this, see if you like it, and then, you know, if you don't like it, you don't really lose too much out of it, but if you love it, you can continue to buy the bigger fire in Lego City stuff. So this is a 2016 set, um, I believe it is, it should put it on here somewhere, there it is, um, yeah, right there, so, 2016, so this is a newer set, I mean, as of, as of recording this, I mean, you may be watching this two years from now, but as I'm recording this, um, this is a newer wave of sets. And this is the first Lego City Fire sub-theme that I've purchased personally since I've came out of my Dark Ages approximately six years ago. So a lot of these fire sets that I'm going to be building here in the next couple months are all going to be new to me. But Lego City in general usually re-releases a lot of the same theme of sets every four or five years. So these may not be completely new to a lot of people, but they're kind of new to me. All right, so we have four minifigures here. <clears throat> I'm laying out the torsos and the leg elements because they're all kind of different so I'm going to make sure I get the right leg element on the right torso element so this one is the <clears throat> excuse me the diver and you there's a red and this is how I tell the difference there's a red light on the chest of the diver and then there's some straps on the legs now, this is the only torso with that red light on it, but as soon as you put the vest on it, you completely cover it up. So you lose any of that attention to detail that was there. We have a female face with a safety helmet and a kind of a translucent smoke colored visor. So that's our first minifigure. Next, we have black legs with the safety stripe across, and we have the torso that has just the, looks like a little walkie-talkie with a gauge on it. And this guy has a air tank on his back with a scruffy kind of beat up face. You can see there's a little scratch right there on the side of his face. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me zoom in a bit. Yeah, there you go. See the scratch on the side of his face? It's kind of represented with that little, you know, what you would call maybe a hashtag symbol. Hashtag scratchy face. So we're gonna put over his 
head, this breathing apparatus with a smoke-colored visor and a fireman's helmet. And he is going to be carrying a handheld fire extinguisher. Just kind of the standard LEGO City build is, is just this little bar element with a round one by one brick. That's kind of what they use to represent a handheld fire extinguisher. Next we have a, looks like a LEGO City mechanic or city worker. And he is holding on with a, or holding on to a wrench, a LEGO City wrench. So that's kind of the standard Lego minifigure. And finally we have the last, <clears throat> excuse me, the last firefighter. And he also has a like a scuba breathing apparatus. He has kind of a unshaven face, safety helmet the underwater scuba type goggles simply clip on to the safety helmet he has black flippers and a life preserver also used a lot as a toilet seat all right, so there's our four minifigures. They do give us a few extra of these visors, which are good in case you lose them because these, these visors do pop off pretty easily during play from the minifigure helmets. All right, so let's begin the build of the fire boat. Just gonna set it right here on the table. Where, where you can see it okay. Plates, we have these little curved two by six plates. Big wedge and a front element plate. Turn that slightly. A few more plates. Curved shapes and turn it over. And we have these little rounded anti-tiles. That's what helps this thing slide on the table if you're playing with this on the ground and not in the water. Not sure if this will float. It may float. There's no holes down here. I have to try that. I have to see if this floats or not. one by one plates with clips on the side. We have a cool little printed fire element. There's no, no stickers in the set. So that little shield is the fire, Lego City fire symbol, I guess. We have some emergency lights go on the side. This wheel element will attach a propeller in the back. And this simply attaches there. So this is almost like a fire hovercraft, unless 
Less of a boat. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's more of a hovercraft. So this could be on on land and water. We have a couple droid arms. And we have this custom molded handle piece. It's not a rare piece, but don't see it too often. So that creates the water nozzle thing that they can use to put out the fire. So that's basically it for the fire hovercraft. Put that to the side. Now we have our little accessory dock area that is on fire. And we have to go over there and put it out. That's basically the dock. Nothing more to that. Now we're gonna build our little mechanical element that's on fire. Use a bracket. There's our piece of mechanical equipment. This will go right there. Now, time for the far. So we have these cool little one by one round studs and it's the kind that has the hole in it. So what that allows us to do is attach it to a standard Lego stud, but anything that has a bar element will go through those holes. So you can see we can attach these flames shooting straight up out of that hole. And just set that right there on top. So it doesn't attach to a stud or anything, it just sits right on the top. Which is okay, because what we can do is um, you know, more or less pretend that here's our fire hovercraft, comes up, puts the fire out. No fire, where'd it go? Yay, the fireman saved the day, or firewoman. All right, so that is the fire starter set. So we can have this guy up here, helping putting out the fire. We have a guy that was working on the the equipment, it caught on fire. He says, oh no, I've got to run. Jumps into the water. This guy jumps in, helps save the day. And the fire hovercraft person comes up and gets the fire out. Pretty simple play features. Um, the hovercraft is a pretty cool little, little build, simple build. And, uh, cool play feature so gives you ideas to to do new stuff so and if you like the fire set then uh this is a pretty cool little accessory to more fire elements so thanks for watching put a comment down below tell me your thoughts and check out my other videos and we'll see you next time